in this video on my quest to do literally everything inside the game because I'm pretty close already. We are going to be unlocking V2 of all of the races inside of King Legacy. And I have a very good reason to be doing this right now, other than the fact that I just haven't done it yet, which I will explain in a little bit. But we are going to be getting V2 of the human race, fish race, angel race, and also the animal race, which they changed from the word mink. I don't know why they did that. I like the I like mink better, but if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are going to be unlocking all of the races and there are two different ways we can do this, at least for rolling the races. You can either go into the Game Pass menu and you can pay 75 Robux per race reroll, or you can talk to one of these NPCs. I think it's, let me find them. Is it you, your stat, okay, your race, or you can spend 100 gems. Now I only have 400 because I've been spending them recently. 100 gems is a lot of Robux, so I will be paying for the race rerolls because it's overall cheaper. Now there is one slight problem. I'm kind of attached to the bunny ears and tail ma mainly the ears that i have because they're basically on every single one of my thumbnails since i've started playing this game even my very first one i have not changed my race at all since i started playing to the point that in one of my earlier videos i already have a meek v2 so that we have the extra movement speed which is the main reason also why i like it is because i can move really really fast by default like i already move faster than most players just for existing essentially so that is like the one predicament about this video too is that at the end of it, I'm going to have to reroll my race a whole bunch so I get it back because there's like three or four different animal race cosmetics. And I want to make sure I have the bunny ear of one. Now, as I get the races, I'll go ahead and explain what each one does. So for, so for mink or animal, as they now call it, the only thing this one does is that it gives you increased movement speed. And if you get the V2 version, I'm pretty sure it makes the electro fighting style just better, including electro V2. You also just need V2 to get electro V2, which is nice, but we already have that one basically done so let's go ahead and do our first re-roll and let's see which one it wants to give us so race re-roll let's do it automatically okay, okay it does it automatically we got angel which gives us wings let's go ahead and do this one first now there's a slight problem with the angel race you know me i always like to look the part when i dress up as characters hence why i dressed up as the bunny i'm dressed up as carrot right now because i had the ears and also it's on the thumbnail now there really isn't any significant characters in one piece that are sky Pian that have wings i say that because technically i looked it up apparently anel the tyrannical god from that arc is technically a skypean but he just doesn't have wings he has the drums instead so i'm counting it we are now we are now technically a skypean the only other character that i that's like, that's like truly like skypean and popular is gan fall the guy in the night armor but he doesn't have wings so it kind of breaks there's also that one devil fruit girl but like she's not skypean so but cool so this is gonna be the first race we're gonna do and while I look up how to actually do it because I need to figure out where that is I just want to quickly explain why I'm doing this so the reason I'm doing all the races is because there is if I head back to spawn real quick over here the title NPC has this race right here called I gotta find it uh sea beast v2 you can't get this right now this is not in the game apparently I've looked it up and people are saying that it's nowhere I'm gonna guess this is gonna be in like a 5.1 or 5.2 type updates and I don't know what requirements are gonna be needed for it we we might need to have all the v2s we might just need fishman v2 i don't know so i want to do everything that i can in the game before it comes out first of all just to do it but also second of all because i want to get this race i do not know how i don't think anyone knows how that's why we're going to be doing this so apparently what we got to do let me activate hawking and all that so i can defend myself we need to head to somewhere on this island and on one i think it might be the giant snow pillar there should be an npc up here who i've literally never seen before I've never been up here. Yeah, there is. I've never been. I've never seen this NPC before. Okay, let's see. Give me 2 million and an angelic feathers, 350 of them, and three lost rubies. Okay, we need we need materials. What do we have? We have four lost rubies. We have enough. Good. And we have 134 angelic feathers. Okay, we need to grind those up real quick. How many do we need again? We need 350. Okay, so let's head over to dock one and let's head back to C1 for a bit. Head over to the sky island. Let's make sure there's no one grinding here. 
Oh, there's someone grinding here. Dang it. Well, I don't want to take I don't want to take their kills. That would be mean. Okay, we're good. And we're gonna farm up these sky soldiers. These guys drop feathers. Oh, yeah, by the way, you can also get the lost rubies in case you're doing this as a tutorial for yourself. You can get lost rubies mainly from trading. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But also you can get drops from the Anubis and the Pharaoh boss at second C. Both on desert both both on desert island. Oh, yeah, and to make this more authentic, we're gonna be using Rumble. <laughs> this is this is very fitting that we're gonna be torturing this island using rumble dressed up as a neil yes we're gonna do this until we have how many do we need 350 left. yeah we need 350 of these let's do it okay there we go 350 i love the irony of this i was kind of i love the irony of this i'm dressed up as the guy who famously killed a bunch of these guys just to get stronger and i'm just doing it to get stronger it worked out really well there actually okay back to c2 okay so now they've done that we can go ahead and talk to this npc you've got the things use the goods wisely defeat the one who above and okay yeah yeah. We'll go ahead and accept that. I'm trying to get someone trying to PvP me. So let me just kill them real quick. Yeah, not letting you PvP me. Yeah, I think I need to come here. This is the next NPC they show. Is this who I have to talk to? Accept. Okay, that did nothing yet. Let me see. I actually don't know where to go yet. Okay, I see what I need to do. Okay, I need to head back to Doc 1 again. We need to head back to C1. And we have to defeat Anil with the pole weapon. We head over to Sky Island. We have to defeat Rumble Man specifically with this weapon until we have level five perception. I should just be able to do this and that. Yeah, that works. This is fitting. I'm, I'm literally just fighting myself. What if I have to just use the weapon by itself? Okay, I have to use the weapon by itself, I think. Okay, we at level one. Okay, level two. We can use the abilities. That works. Okay, we got level three. Two more to go. Level four. One more kill later. Okay, level three took a while to get to. Level four was easy. And there we go, level five. Okay, cool. Now we can head back. <laughs> There's a lot of back and forth, my lord. Okay, back to Starter Island. Let's go ahead and talk to you again. Again, head to C2 and let's climb that mountain again. I do also feel noticeably slower, by the way. You do you do feel the difference when you're not mink. But there we go. So now we've done that. Now once we head over to the last island in the game, over here, and you want to head to the top story up here. Talk to you. And now if I get through the dialogue. If I accept, I am now Mink V2, which gives me a really big wings. And also, I can now jump more and higher. So now I have an extra two jump. And my wings are way be bigger looking. I like that. It looks way better. See, I have 15 jumps now. I think it was like uh, 13, maybe 14, but now I have 15. That is good. And also, my jumps are just a little bit higher too. Same with the, same with the double jumps. So I can go higher now. That's not too bad. A pretty basic reward, but... Oh, I also think you need like level 4,000. I don't know. You might, you might need max level you might not need it i'm not entirely sure but okay so now that we've done that let's go ahead and do the next race also i will say these wings are really really nice so let's see next one uh we can roll animal again and we got the cat ears one angel again and it kept the v2 i have the v2 wings again animal come on give us a new one human okay there we go we get very much just nothing humans can be difficult though who do i do for human because there's a lot of humans in one piece i think everyone could agree on that i'm guessing who i'll do for this this one is we'll dress up as Sabo because in order to learn his fighting style V2, you need to be human V2. So it matches. But human doesn't really give, but human doesn't change your appearance at all. All it does is that it gives you more range on this. So we can teleport. And I think that is literally it. Okay, let's see. So what we need for this one is we need to find a guy called Adam. I'm going to guess he's over here. You're Hector. Are you up here? Is this you, Adam? Okay, this is Adam. Okay. So you're all set. Bring Phoenix Tier 1 to Knight and Fjord. Okay, so apparently when you talk to this guy, you pay him 2 million and you give him 1,000 logs. Okay. And I already have a Phoenix Tier. I have a bunch of Phoenix Tiers, actually. I have three right now. But yeah, I took 1,000 of my logs, so I think I had enough of those. And then he wanted me to head after I get a Phoenix Tier from Big Mom or just trade for it. I go to you... And I need to find a guy called Lucas. I'm going to bet he's in here. Here you go. Hello, Lucas. How you doing? So now that I've done this, I give him the Phoenix tier. Now he wants me to go ahead and defeat ghost ships. I'm going to have to serve her up a lot until I find all of those. I'm guessing I'll equip Saber V2 so I can PvP when needed. All right. Looks like we're going to be server hopping for those. Okay. Here's the first one. And there we go. First one's dead. Okay. Here's the second one. Okay, there we go. That is the second one. Am I doing something wrong? Because it's still saying I haven't leveled up to the next level. So I'll talk to him again. Hopefully that starts counting it, I guess. 
And there we go. That's a third one. Okay, now I have level one perception. How did I just get level one perception? Level two, there we go. Finally. I wonder why I didn't count the first few. Okay, there we go. That's the next ship. I'm guessing you get the levels from picking up the chests, not the killing of the boat. Okay. I mean, that's good to know. Okay, I didn't get levels from that one either. This is very interesting. I wonder how it's calculating if you get levels or not. Okay, there we go. Another kill. And no more level from them. There we go. Another kill. I talked to the NPC again. Let's see if these count more. That did not. My lord, what's going on? Okay, finally level three from this one. Finally. I got level four too, maybe five? Level four, perfect. Okay, one more level to go. This I, this is taking so long. This is such a waste of time because I'm never going to use human V2 after this, my lord. Okay, let's do it. Hopefully just one more. Finally level five. Okay, that took another two ghost ships to do. So with that, my ghost ship fighting is over. We can head, not the loaf, whoops, wrong place. We can head over here and talk to you again, precious treasures. Let's go ahead and accept. And now with that, we have 50% we got 50% cooldown on the teleportation, further distance, plus one dodges, and every human's fighting style deals more damage. So I think that would qualify as Dark Leg and Dragon Claw. Maybe Cyborg too, but I wouldn't really consider that a human. Because anybody can become a cyborg. But awesome. So now I should have, whenever I teleport, this should, yeah, this looks like it's going down faster. And then I should have more dodges if I go get hit real quick. Let's see. We have 10. I might need to reset, fix it. But that means we should have 11 dodges, if I read that right. But yeah, it's very cool. So now all we need to do is the fish man or fish as they call it let's do that real quick let's see can we get it right away please work animal well, we got the bunny ears one dang it that would have been good too not now though human angel come on give us fish man there we go we got fish okay cool so with that yeah we have a we have a shark fin on our bag a pink one specifically well this isn't gonna quite match you can't really even see it but there we go <laughs> um this works okay let's see so in order to do this we have to head over to shred we have to find a guy called Atta, A-T-A. Oh, here it is, a dome-like building. Okay, cool. So in order to talk to him, of course, you have to have fish. You have to have 2 million cash, 100 fresh fish, 3 seeking blood, and 1 seeking fin. All of which I have. I have exactly enough blood. I have the fins for it. And I have plenty of fresh fish. Here's the hint. Use the thing that you got from the sea. Hunt down the beast until it's right. So now that, I do, so now that I've done that, I now have to go hunt down 5 sea kings, specifically using the demon trident, which the ability if I just test them real quick. Up close. Well, that one's at least ranged. Okay, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's do this. Finally, okay, our first one. Okay, there we go. So then with that, we got fish race perception increased to level one. We should hopefully only have to do four more of those. And you know what? I'm being hit by a sudden urge to just not wait any longer for more of these things. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna spawn in four more. Is that every single one of these is an hour? Okay, there we go. Level two. Okay, there we go. Level three. Um, because I haven't said it yet. One of the best things about fish man is that I have reduced the damage underwater. Like, I'm in the water. I'm, I'm taking very little damage from the water. But I still take damage, so you're not impervious. And again, we got level four. I reset because I got low on health. But one more to go. That one I didn't pay for. That one spawned naturally. And there we go, level five. That would have taken way longer if I didn't pay for them. But I didn't want to wait any longer. So now that we've done that, I think we can head back over to this island. And we can talk to this guy again. So now, if I talk to you again, try to seek someone who might strengthen you more. Okay, so now that we've done that, we gotta go find someone else. Let me look up where he's at. Apparently, it's at Dressrosa again. So you have to head over here, and we have to talk to the fish man in the corner. Here we go. This guy. Perry. Not the platypus. That's spelled differently. I'll give you the power that will strengthen your fish race. Here is the reward. Um, You won't receive a seed. You won't receive any sea damage. You'll swim faster, and you'll be able to see through underwater. Also, faster regeneration while under the sea. So that is actually really good. We also get another title for that. If I head somewhere with water, I should. Oh, yeah, I also have the fins on my arms now. They're not the right color unfortunately that's kind of sad i wish i rolled the blue color but now that i've done that if i go ahead and sit in water and i'm currently using this armor i am taking zero damage if i go under the water i'm actually going quite fast look at that not as fast as someone that's dashing around but that is still really good i go ahead and take some damage too okay look at that i took a bunch of damage if i i'm regenerating about 300 health a little bit less than that per tick of regen if i go ahead and sit in the water look at oh it's, it's doing the same amount it's just doing it faster okay so the ticks are just faster but overall yeah so if i'm doing anything water related fish man's actually really really good if you're not doing a lot of pvp or you don't care about moving faster fish man might be your go-to because i don't have to swap the bubble every time i get in the water i am of course still going to go back to my mink race i do like mink the best but this one is definitely 
honestly, like this is the best alternative. Fishman and Mink are the two best races. Mink for just general PvP. And if you like running around, which I do a lot of running around, so Mink for me. But if you're trying, but if you do a lot of water stuff, you know, like all the bosses in C2, this is definitely what you want to get. That and also your same race as Jinbei, which I mean, that's a huge W. But there we go. That is all of the races in the game currently. There is technically Sea Beast, but I literally have not found anything on how you do that. So I don't think it's in the game yet. There is a bunch of stuff in C3 that you can't do anything with yet. So it might be related to those. As of now, I'm pretty sure you cannot get Sea Beast. As soon as it's figured out, I'll make a video on it. I also unlocked Minty Fresh Title Color. I think another four more titles that I get Solar Blaze. That's going to be good. Oh yeah, let's see how many races it takes me to get my bunny ears back. One gave me the wrong animal race got the cow one okay and we got all blue awesome okay i'm gonna retake the, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna retake my picture for the thumbnail i even have the blue nose now too okay that looks way better yeah we look good three four wrong animal again got horns this time angel fish again this one giving leg fins angel human fish human fish human fish animal but the wrong one again human animal but still the cows why human angel fish angel Angel! Animal, but yeah oh my lord wrong one fish human animal the cows again why always the cows there's like three different ones that could be angel human fish human animal but the wrong one again fish animal but the cat dang it human animal but the wrong one fish human angel human animal finally got the ears back and the tail that took way too long